Hello and welcome to this full solo playthrough of Storm Raiders, which is currently on Kickstarter. Um, and I'm going to be throwing in the modular little mini expansion for the game as well. So if you haven't seen anything about the little mini expansion, I'm going to show that off today. Um, so if you have watched some of the previous videos of the game, you'll kind of see what I'm doing in my turns is what we usually do in a multiplayer game. Uh, and for the solo game, they're going to basically use two dice to determine which dice they remove where their marker moves to, the standee, and try and fulfill these this pile of contracts they have in front of them. Um, that's what they're doing. So they're just kind of getting, getting my way, removing dice I might want, and taking away resources I might want. Um, cool. So the stuff that gets added with the little mini expansion, because I want to highlight, highlight that a little bit, um, the first thing is there are some, a new trike, plane, and sub. I've just chosen to use one of the, the plane today. Um, all these three vehicles kind of, focus on damage or health loss that kind of stuff uh, so this one says when i place a mod on these one of these three spots then i get to remove a die and a damage from any one vehicle so i will likely be wanting to fill up these mods quite quickly on my plane uh, the other thing that we add are there's some new contracts these contracts always require weaponry so no other contracts in the base game require weaponry um, they're worth a lot of points probably more than they should be in a, in a way um, but they do cause you to take damage or um, lose health. So they're kind of high risk um, style of um, contract. Thematically, the Stormholds are under, under attack and we've got to rush in and try and you know help them out. Uh, the other stuff that gets added is the Elixir token. What this token does is I can flip it over and then lose one health to pick up one resource um, either from my current location, from where I finish up or along the way. So if I was moving, say, uh, from here to here, I could pick up anything along those three spaces, um, one of those resources. You don't gain um, a dial increase when you do that, uh, but if you do pick up, say, weaponry, then you don't, you don't take any damage. So you can do that, and then you can do it one more time, and this gets removed. So It allows for some a couple of power turns for each player if they want to grab something for the contract quickly, that kind of thing. Cool, and the other thing that gets added are the hazard markers each time the storm lands at a new location these tokens will come out and go on each path leading out not the subs though just the, the land paths and then this is going to basically increase how long it takes to travel across these paths or before doing that you can damage your vehicle remove the token um, and then use the normal cost but then you can spend these later if you collect them um, to reduce your travel costs on a future turn by one for each token you spend i think that's all what the expansion adds I think. So there's three modular things. They all kind of bring in a lot more ways of like damage and risk and that kind of stuff. Um, makes the game map a bit more dynamic as well. All right. So I'm playing as Endy. Um, her resting ability is that I may lose one metal to increase any dial by one. So I kind of want to keep my metal dial on zero, pick up a few metals along the way, and then use those when I rest to boost my other two dials. That's kind of her play style. Um, and she's scoring, you know, starts off scoring decent on medals and then kind of a little head start on the, on the crew. My starting trike, well, my trike, uh, can treat fives as near value. So fives are basically like ones. I can take them as wild and change them. I've already explained my plane. And my sub, um, I can salvage one resource before moving, preventing all damage. So say if I'm at a location like this, always a better, always a better version of this here. Um, when leaving this sub, I could take that uh, metal and not take any damage for it. So, And just like the elixir, you don't gain a, a bump on the dial either. Alright, I think that's uh, that's everything. So I'm going to go and kick off. So I'm the first player in the first round. Um, that will alternate um, for the, the bot. So they'll be the first player in the, the even rounds. So I'm going to roll these dice. Well, before I do that, I should choose where I start. Now, here's the big decision. I want mods. Uh, so now these offer mods up front, so they'd wait for the flip. So, another good thing to look for is um, something like this, where there's a crew on a mod space. There's one over there as well. One there as well. So maybe I'll get a crew on my first turn. Um, so this might be this is a pretty good location. So maybe I'll start there. All right, let's roll those dice. 
All right, so first turn. This just going here is not bad. I mean, I get to boost my my crew dial by one. Have to get some crew later. And get the middle. The, the weaponry. Well, maybe maybe this way is the better way. Still three on my trike and get around here. I think that's what I want to do. So I'm going to take a three. There are there's a wild, but I think I'll leave it. Um, I don't mind the risk if the if the bot takes it. Take a three on my trike. I'm going to go over this path here. Um, if on my trike, I can take two items without any kind of punishment. So I'll take the crew, which gets discarded, and I'll draw two cards and keep one. And then take one of these two items. Seeing it's right there, maybe I'll take this one here. All right, and I get to increase my mod dial by one. And because I saved this game, it removed the scripting, so do it manually. All right, so that's my turn. And oh, sorry, draw two crew, keep one. I need something else. All right, remove one die from your plane. It's been too few hours of traveling by plane. That's quite good. And I don't have any dice on my plane currently, so I'll take the screw. This one goes at the bottom. All right, so the AI, they roll their two dice. The higher die is going to determine which color die they want to take. <laughs> they are taking that while. So they want a gray die, um, and then they want to, a one gray. If they can't find a one gray, they'd go to a two, three, and so on. If they get to the top, they wrap back around to one. So in this case, they want a gray, and they want to start at one, and there's a gray one. So they're taking away the wild, which I thought I'd get away with. And then also the highest die, not the die they take, but the one they actually rolled, determines if they'll move clockwise or counterclockwise. If it's a black die is the highest, they'll basically follow the storm's current path. If it's gray, they'll go the opposite way. So they're going counterclockwise. They start here. And they're looking for these three items. They want Oro Chalcum, General Goods, and Electrical Goods. And they're going to go the closest site possible to fulfill that, following the storm path. So they can get two of them here, but we're going to see if we can find three first. Uh, they won't go to the storm, they'll at least get the storm. Don't think they're going to find three. So they're going to go the closest one possible. So they're going to get these two things. Now what you'd usually do is you'd fill up these spots here. Um, you don't necessarily have to. It only matters if they're going to pick up weaponry, um, really. That's the only reason you'd do that. So if they were to pick up weaponry, you'd have to find a place it on one to show what it, what it became, basically, because weaponry is wild. That wasn't of all you knew. All right. Um, so that's all they're doing. If they had fulfilled that entirely, they would have flipped this over and spent those resources. But for now, <clears throat> that's all we're doing. All right. So my next turn, I uh, can't do a contract on my next turn. I don't think I really want to anyway. I kind of want to wait for this to flip. So can I get two general goods and still be close by? Just two general goods here, here. I mean, that is a sub location. That's pretty good, actually. Going here and then coming back. <clears throat> this will give me a one. And I do have my elixir I could use. and have my sub's ability to take one resource. Well, so I can get these two now. I have to use my plane because it's a plane icon. I don't think I want to go all the way around. Um, then I could take this for free and I leave. Right, so if I was to go here, I don't want the storm to turn around, so I'd be taking the six in my plane. But I could use my crew. So it's a five to get here, so I'll take the six. To avoid the damage, I'm going to use this crew to reduce the six by one. Make it a five. Well, the other option, actually, is just to throw this crew away and just mod that slot. I'm going to clear off these two things straight away. No, maybe we'll keep them around for now. So make it, I'm going to make it into a five. Um, travel over here. And I'm going to take these two. Which actually is going to damage my, my um, plane because I took two items. Uh, and I get to increase my crew dial by one. All right. And then the AI... They want, if it's ever a tile, this they always favor the black dice. So they want a black die, that's all there is anyway. They want to go three or higher, so they'll take the three. So that gets removed. And now they want to go the same direction as the storms. So they're going clockwise now, so the black. So they just want to get one 
literal good to fill this contract and they can get it right here so they'll take that that's all they need for this contract so this goes into the discard pile i like to flip these over so you know they're kind of done and now they have their next active contract for the next turn all right that's the end of the round there's one die left so it's two black it's going to go in the same direction it's going already because it's black so one two um, before i forget to do this these come out on the paths that lead out from there let's do that and we're adding three resources where does it move to two spaces one two three so this will eventually be a nice place to go but it could be costly to get in there one two three all right um they become first player now the contracts no contracts got fulfilled so they're all just flipping over no new ones coming out all right one two three four five i'm gonna roll the dice and in round two in a two player game a middle gets added to the highest die which is a black four right so for the ai their turn we'll roll these dice they want a black and they want to go two increasing so um that's too low so they're going to fill in the fours if they are given the choice of one with a medal they'll take the one with the medal so they're going to take this four and the medal just gets discarded so i lost my chance to get that medal they want to go clockwise but the black's the highest and they're looking for forest chalcum and fuel um there's the fuel or chalcum and fuel so they go boom 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 we'll take the two things they need and fulfill another contract and then there's the next one so I can, if I really want to, like sit here and think about where they might go in the next turn and what they might target. But I'm not going to do that. I'm just going to play my own game. All right. Uh, so for me, what was I doing? I wanted this, didn't I? I was at a port. Was my plan? No, I'm not there. Where am I? I'm over here. I thought I was the storm for a second. Um, that's right. My plan was to use my sub to take this on my way to here. So I need a five. There's a wild. So I guess I'll be taking the wild, making it a five. And I'm going to use my sub's ability to take this without any taking any damage. And go over here, location those three items to fulfill this contract. That gives me a mod and a medal. Uh, and probably a good time to actually use my plane's ability. So let's mod this part. Whenever I place a mod here, I can remove a die and a damage from one vehicle. So I'll get rid of these two. All right. Um, their turn. I roll the dice. And they want a grey die of three or higher. So they'll take the three. And because the grey is the highest, they're not going counterclockwise. And they are looking for general goods and machinery. Here's the machinery. So here's where they'll take weaponry we go this way stop here they'll only take weaponry if it's the only option at the closest site so if there was say the electrical good which they need if there was a general good they would take that first but because there are none they'll take the weaponry this is why you would place these on here if that's that's all they took for example it would become the highest resource but anyway that's what they do they take those two items this flips over now my turn so there's no uh, issue for the, the AI with the storm. They don't get hit by the storm, so I don't really have a decision around if I want them to get hit. I'm just trying to prevent myself getting hit. So I want to keep boosting my mod and my crew dial. Uh, I've got one weaponry. These three or four are going to get damage on them. What I could do, though, is use my elixir to pick up something on the way if i wanted to do one of these contracts so for example i can go through here pick up this on the way and then do this contract which is not a bad move be one two three four five i could use my trike i only got oh it's only a three and a four. Oh, if i use my plane it's only a three two fewer hours I think that's what I'm going to do. So I'm going to take the three. Um, I can use two fewer hours when traveling by plane. So essentially I can go five. I'm going to go one, two, three, four, five. I'm going to use my elixir along the way, which is going to make me lose a health, to 
take this off here. I'm going to spend these two goods to fulfill this contract. This gives me a mod and a random resource from the bag. So I'll take that. And do I just use this again? Things I might as well use this quickly. I think I'll cover up the yeah the how much is out there? It's a bit. Okay, I'll try, I'll cover up this one because I might actually end up going up here when the storm moves on and grab this. Who knows? All right, so this lets me remove a die and damage. I'll do these ones from my sub. My sub is pretty good, and that's my turn. All right, so end of the round. Storm's going four spaces in the same direction. One, two, three, four. And with four, it drops off two resources at each. Before I do that, I need two of these. One on this path, one on this path. And then we're needing two resources at each. One, two, two, three, and four. So there is, this is a, hmm, interesting. Kind of like, like going up here, a lot of crew up here, and it boosts my middle dial, but this is in the way. So it costs more to get up there. All right. Uh, first play marker moves on. These three contracts are getting damage each. Getting out two new contracts. Oops, wrong side. Uh, yeah. Cool. And. I'm the first player, so one, two, three, four, five, four dice. Alright, what is my plan? I've got one general goods. And do I like any of these contracts? I mean that actually helps me get my tracker back down. Kind of counters my elixir and it gives me a mod. Would take cause me to take a damage, but I'm doing a run right damage. But I would need to get a mechanical and a fuel on my next turn and then get back there which is maybe doable but a long way to go oh there's there's weaponry here um I do really like this location this is also good to get the weaponry from it Ah, uh, what am I doing? What am I doing? So this will be one, two, three, four, five on my plane, or a four if I damage my plane. Which maybe I don't mind. Yeah, I think I'll just do that. Alright, so I don't really want to storm turn around, so I'm gonna take this wild and make it a four. Yeah, and I'm gonna take a damage to remove this token. Because I'm going to move through that path. So I'm going to damage my plane. So now it's only a four. I'm going to go here. Um, and I'm going to take, I think, the two crew. I think that's what I want. So two crew. I get to boost my mod dial. Do move a crew mod strat here. So the first one I draw, prevent all damage from the storm, remove one gray die from your vehicle. I think that's currently more useful. And then the second crew uh, spend two few hours when traveling by trike. Remove one die from your trike. So what, what else do I have? That's the hours one. I think I prefer this one. And it's Dane, so you know. I've had to throw a four before. Alright. That's my turn, I think. My plane has taken a hit, but if I get a mod on there, then I can clear off half of that. So. I could have used my elixir along the way if I thought about it, but I guess taking this would be the better option anyway. All right, um, the AI. They want a black die, three or higher, so three. They're going to go clockwise. And they're looking for one arch chalk and one electrical parts. There is on their current location, but they'll never come back to their current location, so they have to move on. So they can get one here in the wild. Um, they can't. They could take this, but the storm's there, so the storm they can't stop there. 
So they keep moving, keep moving. And they can do it here. So they're going to move all the way through here. They're going to treat the weaponry as Orich Alchem, fulfill this contract. And also because there's a crew there, that crew runs away, which I do not like. And they fulfill this one for four. All right. My turn. Do I have any plans? I am on a a uh, fort site, so I could make use of my subs ability and take one of these. I can't just can't quite do that one. Almost could, but not quite. This is one I did like the look of, but it's not on a port site, and it's going to be gone next turn anyway. This one I could actually do, but. That would cause me to take a damage. But it's not bad. I am kind of keeping I think this this I mean this plane is gonna run out in my next thing where the damage is gonna start piling up, but I haven't rested yet, so not too phased. Alright, other options, just one option, other options would be just to get some more resources for the next round. Maybe find some more crew. Um I don't really want metal dial movement. Yes. I mean, this one will become a mod in the middle next turn. So going here could be that, and I could steal that, or that, I guess. Increase my things and then just wait for this. It's not a bad choice. It's kind of a better version of this anyway. It gives me the same things without the damage. And yeah, maybe it's a better option. So I need a three to fly down here. Oh, my plane is filled up. Um, I can remove a grade eye though. I have to use a four. I could. Maybe I do that. All right, so I'll remove a grade eye from any vehicle, which is going to be this one here. Um, and I'll take one of these wilds, make it into a four. Fly down here. I can take two items without any kind of consequence. Um, the question was that I should have taken something before I left using my elixir, which I will. So I'm going to lose a health. Elixir's gone. I'll take that before I leave, and then take that. And I'm take one more. So let's go for the Orichalcum. And because it's the crew dial, crew dial goes up. So now my crew, my mods are both worth two points each. So I need to get a bunch more, but we're getting there. All right, the AI, my well, elixir's gone, so I can't use that anymore they want a grey die there's only ones they take that one and because it's grey they're going counterclockwise so they're here they just want one electrical part that should be pretty easy here it is gone and the crew's going to run away as well so taking away the crew all right and that's their turn it's a uh, wild in the middle so we just roll it see where it goes it's a four black, so it's persisting in its current direction. One, two, three, four. Let's put these markers down first. And then bring out two resources at each site. We're going to have to put the other stuff back in the bag. Which isn't bad because it means more crew might come out. So all this goes back in the bag. Draw two more. All right. And this is a good site too. Okay, so that's the end of the round. Um, they become the first player. These contracts are all gone. These two flip. We get new ones coming out. Clockwise from the storm. So we go here, here, here. Oh, that's a beast. Costs two ammunition, eight points, gives you a medal, but then makes you lose two health. Wow. Okay, these ones... Um, We'll go back in the bag once, once we've done that. So there, let's go back in the bag. And I think that's it for the round. So one, two, three, one, two. And they are the first player. All right, so they will roll the dice. They're looking for a gray die, one or higher. So they'll take the lowest gray, basically. And because the color is gray, they're going to go counterclockwise. I'm looking for three mechanical parts. Wow. They get two here. Um, nope, 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 nope. Two there. No. So they're taking two. They're going to here. 
We need to go and take two of them and then chase away. That was a really good location for me too. Don't know. Chase away that. So they haven't fulfilled a contract, which is a good thing for me. Uh, if they do one per turn, then they're going to do pretty well. All right. So my turn. We're all high dice. I can ribbon die from a trike, but that doesn't really make a difference. So I was going to fulfill this contract, I think. I could then go over here and do that one even. Also, I can actually do this one because I do have that still. Four points versus a medal. Medals are worth zero points to me currently. That's one, two, three, four, five, six. But it is it could be on my trike, so I could race over there. Now I gotta think if it's worthwhile. Four point difference, one less resource though. Puts me very close to doing this one too though. So I think it's kind of worth it. All right, so I'll take a six. It's going to damage my vehicle because it's a six. And I'm going to go all the way over here. Spend these three resources. Take this and get a mod. Now, do I use my planes ability one last time? I think I actually probably should to clear off this rubbish. Because um, it means my truck's way more available. So we'll do that. Get rid of these two using my planes ability. Got me I've got this in front of me too. So I could have done that with a the five, but made no difference. Um, let me put this here to remind me next to my crew. All right, um, so it's my turn done. The bot is that one. There's no great ice anyway, but the lower one determines the value. So they go three or higher. I'll take one of these. And the grey, they want to go counterclockwise. And they're looking for just one mechanical part, which they can easily get here and fulfill that contract. Alright. Oh, I want another big one. Can they get that somewhere? They can. Darn. Well, this is only five points. Alright, stop mumbling to myself. Um, my next turn, I was thinking about just doing this contract. Because I can, basically. So we have three points. I mean, they kind of want it next turn, so it becomes a mod, I guess. Uh, so is there... It's, the storm's going to go this way, so I could just sort of move in here. That's really good. kind of wish I had modded my sub now, because I've been using it so much. I can't get in here without using my plane or my sub. So I think I will use my sub, take the four. Can't use the ability though. Go here to here. Um, yeah. And definitely take the crew. I think I will take a damage to take a second item. So I'll take the crew. Let's be able to do that in a sec. And probably not that one. Let's go for that one. No, I can't remember if I've increased my crew marker or not. I can probably count it up, can't I? Um, one, two, three, five. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So I've moved four times. Four, five, six, seven actions. One, two, three, four, five, six. Eight actions. So there should be one more, I think. I'm calculating right. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Oh, seven minus three, four, five, six, seven. Yeah, should be one, one more. Um, that's if you're if you're always salvaging, you'd be moving dials and doing uh, contracts. If you had a turn where you didn't do either, well, then you'd have to obviously take one away. All right, it's going to be if I'd done that dial or not, but I have. Okay, so damage that. Choose a crew, prevent one damage before from salvaging. That would have been useful two seconds ago. Stin spend too few hours when traveling by sub. I do like my sub. But damage maybe is the way to go. Yeah. Okay. So that's me. The storm is going to six, seven spaces. It goes plus one on the last. On the round four, so one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty-one
two, three, four, five, six, seven. Blocks that juicy spot. Um, so I get another token on this path. Don't think I'm going through that way. So this can really start to clog up the map as you carry on, especially with more players, more noticeable. Um, and we're dropping off one resource at each of these. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Cool. All right. So I become first player. Um, this contract gets damage on it. These three flip over. And we get a new one here. One, two, three, four, five. We're getting a medal on the highest side this round. And I am first player. So not that I. Oh, that's really low. Wow. <laughs> this could force me to rest, potentially. Because I want high dice. Uh, I could remove a die from my trike. I actually, oh man, I can't use my sub. That was my big plan. I could rest first, then do it. Or if I can just make a little trike path over here, a bit useful. Not really. I want an island. Um... So I'm really, if I don't rest, I'm kind of stuck on these two uh, little storm moves, which is not a good idea. So let's think this through. I take, I could take the three. I could be removing all the dice and one damage. And I can burn this to boost a die, which is good. I've got to refresh one crew. That option if I do travel first, use a crew that I want to reuse, like this guy or something. Although that wouldn't damage me anyway. Um, I think the fact that there's a metal there, I should just take that so it's taken. So I'm going to take this. Um, yeah, yeah, take the metal. I'm going to rest. So I get to refresh a crew first. Um, one's best maybe the flight one was best too few hours while dark the plane oh, if i had two of these i actually could have used my sub that turn but no all right um so i'm resting all right so i've refreshed one crew i remove one damage for every two pips so only one damage and i think it'll be from my plane then I remove all dice of three or higher, so these are all gone. Um, and then I get to choose a mod, a middle, or a crew. And I can lose a middle to increase a dial. So I'm kind of at the same point on these. It's really going to come down to what I might want. Well, that, I mean, that's a good spot there. Just hit that and boost a dial and get a crew. So I could really just push for crew if I wanted to. Um... Maybe I will go towards crew more than mods. I've only got three mods. Yeah, I got five crew. All right. So I'm going to burn this metal to increase this die by one. And then for my bonus reward, which is the last part, I'm going to get some more crew. Uh, flip a draft to die. Remove on damage from your trike. I think I want the damage removal. And I think I'll use that straight away. Oh, all right. Um, so that's not bad, I got two damage, it is worth negative three each, but if I can clear off both, this doesn't have any effect, so. Alright, that was just me resting. Um, their turn, I think we know we're going to go already, because of their contract. They're going to take a grey, uh, black die, um, and they're both twos, so two. Um, oh, I totally put the metal out there, but didn't read that one, did I? Alright, um, they want to go this direction, they're here, they want three. I think we know there is a location, so I'll just go around and make sure I don't skip one they could have taken. Oh, oh, the guy here. Taking all three of these to fulfill the contract and scaring away the crew member as well. Alright, um, so they're here. Done that contract. Let's just put these in. Alright, um, my turn. So now, the dice are still not great for me. I could technically make this one, a, this would be a four if I use this on my sub, I can go one less hour. So I could get out of here if I wanted to. I could do this contract. 
Um, can go there, here. All right, and it's currently, I could choose it goes gray. It's gonna go plus two, so one, two, three, four, five. If I take that one, it won't go there. Um, let's see other options. I mean, this is a double mod. That's so good, but I don't think I can get there. Uh, oh, I can go too few hours on my plane. But if I'm in a really tough spot, that's fires. That's way too much. Um, gosh, I think this one might just be the best move. And if I really want that one, I could do it next round and take the damage for it. So maybe I'll just do this little path. Uh, what am I thinking? I can't even get there. That's a five. I don't think I can get out of there with a four. I don't know what I was thinking. I th the four's gone. I don't know what I'm doing. All right. <laughs> I can't get out on my sub. Um, oh, no, I could. I could go from a two to a two. That's the one thing I could do. But that's a bad place to be right now. Um, could go up here. Which gets me close to this, but I couldn't get on my next turn. I wish I can go there. The option is just to kind of wait a second and then let the storm move and then have more options with higher dice next round, hopefully. So my plane, I could technically go five on my plane. Oh, so I can go here on my plane. Okay, maybe I'll do that. So I'll take the three. Maybe I can do it with a two actually, because I can use this. Go six on my plane. I do three, four, five. No. I think I want to go here and just kind of get this sweet deal. Oh, that's next turn though. I can't get it this turn. Oh, my dreams are getting shattered. All right, so I'll go here. I'll go take a two. And if I. No, actually, I... yeah. The thing is, if I leave this one here, it'll probably end the next round right here. So. One, two, three, four, five. Oh, four. Takes a black. I'm okay with that. I think I will just take this and then use my crew to go two fewer hours. To go five. Spin this. Take this off the map. Gives me a mod. Um, and where will that go? I am on the location of my sub. And. I think we'll put it here. Yeah. All right. Their turn. That was a big, big thought process. Their turn. They are going to roll and they want a grey die. So they will take the grey. They're going counterclockwise for their movement. And they want three. They got three threes in a row. All right. They want three electric, electrical. They can get two there. Just scan the board and get two there. Can't stop there. They can get to lots of places, but this is the closest one, so they're gonna take away two machine uh two weaponry. Uh, oh sorry, that should stay Rip. on their contract because they haven't finished their contract. So it would technically would do this. Um, but it's only really an issue if there's multiple types on the card that you want to cover them up. Alright, um the storm's gonna go plus two, so it's gonna go four. One, two, three, four. Um let's put down some of these markers. We need three of them. One there, one there one there so the map is starting to get a bit clogged up with these hazard markers um and they move four so they're dropping off two goods at each space one, two oh so it's a good location as well i wouldn't mind getting well actually this one here gets me the crew bump i need and it would be my one two three four five six seventh crew if I happen to reuse, say, this one, I could destroy it to get a mod instead and get another crew. If I rest, I guess it's the same result. All right, um, they're the first player. This one's going away. This one's getting a damage. So is this one. This one's flipping over. And these two are getting new ones. Oh, that'll be a double mod next. Oh, it's not going to flip. This is the last round. All right, now it goes back in the bag. All right, so one, two, three, four. Last round. 
is it? And they will roll their dice. They want a grey, a uh, black die of one or higher, so they're all fours. And they're going black, so they're going clockwise. They want just one more, which they can get right here to fulfill that contract. Next one's a little easy one for them. All right, um, so for me, I mean, this is really good. Um, although that is also really good. Two mods, it's worth four points. No, that's definitely better. If I went there, what's my last turn going to be? I think I've got enough. I mean, I don't. I do have negative six points on my board, so just resting could actually be my best final move because I could use this metal fight to get one more uh, mod, I guess. Oh, I increase my mod dial. Yeah, I think it's. It means I'll be sitting here though with the storm, so I kind of want to take black dice off the board, so that's more likely to go. Ray, so yeah, I'll take four, and I'll just try over here. I'll take this one crew, increase my crew dial to its max. Hopefully, get some damage removal. Uh, plane, oh, die from plane or trike. Well, I don't think I'm moving, so I'll take that one. All right, and then. That's my turn. Anything else I can do there? So their turn, this is their last turn. They would like a grey die, three or higher. So they take that one. And get in the box. They want to go counterclockwise. And they're looking for just one fuel. So they can get over here. So it goes away. There's a two done for them. And then for me, I need to think about the consequence of the storm. So if they, if I take the black, if I don't, if I take the, the grey, the storm is hitting me. I even saw the card before that lets you prevent damage from the storm. Anyway, the grey, if I take the black, would go eight spaces. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. I'll be safe. All right, so if I take the four, I know I can remove both damage. So I think this is the play. Refresh a crew if it's of use. I mean, I guess the sky, but I don't think it's going to be much difference. Um, I get to remove two damage, so hurrah. I'm not getting any losses from my damage. Uh, I can remove all fours and higher. So that stays there, but it doesn't matter anyway. Um, and then I can gain one thing, a thing, which I think doesn't make a difference if I. Does it? No, it doesn't. So I'm going to. Ditch this metal, use Andy's power to increase my mods to three points. It's gonna be a pretty good score, I think. And for my bonus thing, I'll just get a mod because I've already got my seven max crew. So um, and it doesn't matter where it goes. So there it goes. And the storm would go eight spaces. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, but it has no effect because no one's in its path. So that is the end of the game. So time to tally up some points and check my skills with maths um so the bot scores all the points on these if it has any leftover um resources they're worth a point each um, but it's purely just points here so we've got 10 20 30 44 is their score which is decent um, they usually score in the 40s sometimes they get towards 50 um, and for me i'm scoring three per mod one, two, three, four, five, so it's 15. Let's divide these down. I'm zero from my zero medals. Four per crew, which is 28. Um, I'm not losing anything from my damage because I don't have any damage. So that's awesome. And then I'm going to score the points on these. So we've got oh, 8 and 8, 16, 22. So that makes 50, 65. That's a, that's a big score, not going to lie. Um, but it is with the expansion, um, and I did focus pretty hard on getting these two tracks almost to the top. So I could have got more mods, um, but I think I did still use ND fairly well. If I hadn't have gained that medal earlier on, if I'd waited for a mod instead, 
that I probably wouldn't have reset in my last turn um, because I would have had an extra mod. I probably would have been trying to find that one more mod bump, um, like salvaging something to get to four points because that would have been what extra six, seven points or something, something like that. Um, but yeah, that is the solo mode. So as you can see, it's very simple, um, very easy to manage, which is what I like in solo modes. I just want to play the game and have fun doing what I want to do. Um, but it's, yeah, fairly competitive. Obviously, I've played the game a lot, so I say competitive, but I'm better by quite a bit. Um, but for your first games, you'll likely score in the 30s and 40s. Um, and then once you start really honing in and learning how to play the game well, you start scoring a bit higher. Um, but the elixir and things do help. Um, so you probably want to, you know, buff the um, buff the AI for the expansion. There is a way that you can just make it harder by giving it a few starting turns. Um, so basically moves and it can fulfill contracts before you even start the game. So it might just start with like 10 more points in the bank and less resources on the back for you, for example. So it can make it harder. Um, so even though that's still a decent score for the AI. Um, but that's it. That is Storm Raiders Solo. Thank you for watching and um, please check it out on Kickstarter. We'd love your support to make this game as big as it can be. Cool. Cheers.